Betaflight is complicated and hard to understand. And setting up a quadcopter with Betaflight is really difficult. But the stuff you're talking about right now is the reason why I no longer fly quads. Yep, yep. Brother, if there were a way to make flying quads as eaten black, um, yeah, it's, it's hard. You have to at least tell yourself that if you're in the FPV hobby, like just as a way of making yourself feel better. <laughs> How, uh, how hard it is? Shut up. I mean, sure. No, it's not. It's still FPV drones. It's not easy. If you think it's easy, it's because you've forgotten how hard it really is. A lot of people think more features always equals more better, but it's simply not the case. Um, too many features can also be a bad thing. I always prefer to have one concise option that is better or the best versus having many options. Um, a lot of trade-offs to consider for the user. Now, to be clear, this is not a fork of beta play. That is a misconception. A lot of people tend to think that. I kind of knew it wasn't a fork of beta play early on because of the GUI. Usually you know when you see a fork of beta play such as Emu Flight or iNav, you can see the figures just about the same. And not only that, but just the flight feel. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna take this quad, took the props off, I'm gonna unplug her in, and like I said, I'm gonna wipe her back to beta flight, and then we'll start from scratch. So you get a visual, it helps, right? Here we go, check this out. So, let's go ahead, pull this out here. You know what, we'll just go ahead and put in the plate. It don't really matter, I just wanna knock it back or whatever. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and bring up a browser and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Quicksilver. Quicksilver configurator. Boom, there we go. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the quad, go ahead and put it back in bootloader mode. Just hold the, the little button to put it in bootloader, DFU mode. So now I'm gonna go ahead over here and hit flash. And then give it a second. Then I'm gonna go down to target. Now, I have the Diatone F722 go, where there's an F722 Mamba. We're gonna go ahead and click that. We're gonna go ahead and hit flash. And there you see it's a bootloader. Now I'm gonna hit connect, and here we go. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect from the play controller, and then reconnect it. Then I'm gonna go to home. Then I'm gonna go over here to connect. Then I'm gonna go ahead and connect her. And boom, there we are, we're in. Yes, it's a Mama F722, STM32 F722 with the MPU 6000 brushless OSD with black box. So it, it knows everything about display controller. That's a beautiful thing. Is I'm gonna go right here to set up. Now, you don't have to follow exactly what I do here, but this is just what I do. I like a low idle, digital idle, so I start out at 3.5, and I run props in. Like I said, this is preference, but in my opinion, props in always flies better. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Uh, and you need to find your gyros orientation. So you're gonna go ahead and apply the, what, I, what you just did, and you're gonna go to state, okay? And then you're gonna hold your quad up. 
and you're going to push lean it forward see now I'm going forward see how it's actually going sideways but if I go sideways it goes yeah see so it's off I don't know why this is but this happens with my whoops also and it doesn't make much sense I should probably ask Hanfer about that and I will uh, but as of now, I don't really have an answer to why it's like this. So I set it to, you will go 90 clockwise. And then apply that, and boom. There we go. See, now we're in the right orientation. So this is the front, this is the back. See, and you see the, uh, yeah, so there you go with that. So now, next, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go down. I don't have to mess with any of the voltage. So my RX is on, I believe, serial one. VTX, no, I don't have a VTX. I got a digital VTX, duh. So MSP, and that's on port. Can't remember. I have to double check by looking here. Just make sure you double check all this stuff. And you'll set that to MSP protocol and go ahead and hit apply. Once you do that, you're gonna go to receiver tab. See, it's searching for a receiver. Make sure you have your radio bound and all that jazz. Welcome to Mambo. Oh, wow. All right, so it's connected and you see it locked. You see how quick it locked? Bind is good, everything is good. Okay, I should have, yep. Boom, right there. Okay, so this is wrong. Throttle and all that stuff is wrong. So I have to manipulate this, of course. So let's go to that. T-A-E-R. Go ahead and hit that. Now let's go ahead. Okay, that's throttle. Yaw. Yep. Yep. All right, that's all good. And then we'll go down, and here's your channel. So it automatically sets channel 5. That's your arm channel, which that's typical, okay? Uh, so then we'll go down and see so you got self level horizon Stick leaf buzzer turtle and you want to set your turtle because it's got an automatic turtle mode So you want that to be off so you want to set your turtle mode. So my turtle mode is aux Yep seven. Yeah, when you flip the switch, you'll see on the side here Over here see when I flip the switch that'll tell you what switch you're clicking So go ahead and click yeah seven for that so you only have one option you don't have a high or a low on the switches this is just the load it and send it motto this is just you want to you want to get you want to freestyle you want a quad that flies really good and you want it to freestyle so that's some of the sacrifices you're going to make this ain't beta flight with all the bells and whistles this is going to fly freaking amazing you know and it's easy to do it's easy to load we got our turtle mode set up and let's see what else do we have here level mode i guess i would set up on eight so let's go ahead and apply that all right so now we have our switches we're, we're connected everything's set everything's good so let's go ahead and reboot let's go back in and make sure everything is where it is all right let's go to setup okay everything's saved there we'll go to receiver tab make sure everything's saved there Yes, everything looks pretty good. Later. Okay, that looks good. All right, and then that, yeah, that looks excellent. All right, so now let's go to rates. See, I got a max rate, and then they got an acro expo, an angle expo. Now, what I started to do with this, my rates are actually, I run a 950 all the way over. I'm not trying to elaborate too much on this. I'm just trying to show you how to set it up because this is also something that you're gonna, it's gonna be your preference. I like my rates pretty linear. See, that would be linear. So let's go like, that looks more like what I was dealing with. But we can come back to that. So let's go ahead and save that. And this right here, I have a, I have to put a throttle limit. Now, I, the only reason I'm doing this, this is how you can, say if you're running 2200 KB motors or 2100 KB motors, even 2000 KB motors is high, and you want to throttle down a little bit, this is how you can do that. So I'm gonna set this to about, let's go for, oh, takes me to 80%, that's where I was at because I'm running 2550 KV motors. And if you do the math, it takes me to around 2000 KV. I think somewhere around there. I might be wrong. If you do the math, let me know. And this is the pits. 
The only thing I did the day I set this up, the only thing I did different was the, uh, D, the uh, TDA breakpoint. Knocked it down to two five. I don't like too much being chopped away from the uh, pit loop because I fly really hard and I kind of want some aggression there. Not knowing if that would even make a difference at the time because this was all fresh and new to me, but it was just something I just threw a number in there because I just, I see three five and I'm just like, eh, I don't know about that. Everything else stayed right where it's at. Everything is right where it's at. The only other thing I was advised to do because it's a five inch set pt2 and set this to 100 100 and then turn gyro pass two turn it off leave the d term all that leave that just like that and apply um then you can come to osd i'm not i'm not an osd uh uh nut so i don't really care that much about it just giving you my voltage i do appreciate a pretty and an interactive osd you can change all the settings you can tune the quad you can do it all that from from the osd by using the stem, stick commands i'll have any kind of notes that i needed to add to this in the description of this video here is the osd and that's good enough for me uh gives me my lq gives me all that stuff and one thing i will say if you're using the vista the osd doesn't come on until you arm the quad i don't know why but that's what it is because at first i thought it didn't work and then when i started flying in the field it was working so yeah and then so i learned after that i had to arm the quad at least once and then my osd would start working it would pop right up dji goggles v2 or wt wtf uh, os now you'll come to your motors all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to plug in my quad here unplug this or oh, whatever disconnect disconnect unplug now lady is pretty sweet it's pretty cool right? now I'm gonna plug her back in and I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect I'm gonna go back to motors now this might be right it might be I don't know I can't remember uh, we'll go ahead and enable motor test now I'm gonna plug it in all right so front left so it's backward because what happened when I spun that up the back right uh, lit up so now that I know it's completely backwards I'm going to grab a marker I'm gonna grab up any kind of piece of paper one three zero they got it labeled zero I don't know why it's kind of weird all right so now I'm just gonna flip this upside down as I'm looking at this upside down I'm gonna go this is going to be two I'm gonna set this one to zero I'm going to set this one to three. And then I'm going to set this one to two. Just like that. And then I'm going to hit apply. Now we're going to go ahead and do this again. Oh, I unplugged the fucking battery. No shit. Uh, that one's supposed to be two. And that one's supposed to be one. Dumbass. See, yeah, you got to make sure, guys. That that's supposed to be one. All right, now apply. Okay, now it should work fine. Yep. All right, that's front left. All right, front right. Back left. Back right. And we are good. We are set. Now, what I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you the uh, OSD on this thing and what it looks like. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to pull my camera up here and link it with the with the thing here so give me one second here all right let me get my goggles out here get take the camera put it now when i arm this it should get you see the Quicksilver, uh, that is the uh, OSD. It's not real clear, but it's there. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. All right, guys. A lot of people think about Quicksilver like as this, this, this book firmware, and I can't blame them. You know, they say, well, wait, I thought this was only for whoops. And I'm like, so people, it's still like, you know, 
uh, cemented in their mind that this is only for whoops and that's that's why I'm really trying to take this approach and get it out there because I think my yeah. I, I have like a lot of faith in this I, and I, I think it's really important that these needs to get out there because there are so many people out there just getting into the hobby so the learning curve is like terrifying to a lot of people so like this this right here like in the video that I'm about to post it shows how easy it is to just set, like load it and send it is my motto with it you know what I mean like yeah just load it and get out there and start flying and enjoying the hunt. That was one of the design goals from like very early on. When we noticed uh, that this can work on, on basically anything, we wanted it to have it in a, in a way where you can get from loading the firmware to actually fr flying in, in like the shortest uh, amount of time. Whoa, okay. Something going on with the rates here. Okay, yeah, I got something going on with the, my yaw. Yeah. Yeah, rates are way too high now because I messed with that center stick. But... Yeah. Let's go ahead and bring it back in. Probably drop my rates to, let's see here. I think I should connect. Yep, all right. Okay. Go to rates. See that center sensitivity is about right, but I'm gonna go down to do 800 800 on each one because now that I mess with that the rates are reacting a lot differently now so yeah let's let's try that give it a shot so far the, the filter settings that I was advised to, to try for the five inch seems to be okay so yeah let's go on from there give it a shot okay that's right asshole Whoa, okay. Too slow brakes, I think. Okay, well, I can't cure death. Blam, blam. Ouch! Alright, 
that's a little interesting. I'm gonna go up just a little more in the race, and I think we'll be gravy. So let's go ahead and give her a rip. Bye -bye. 